Would you like me to tell you what's good about UK winter time? <sighs> Absolutely nothing. Looks like we're starting this video off with you guys sitting down with me, changing the rear caliper on the Audi TT because the handbrake is sticking on and it seems to be a problem with the caliper. You pull the handbrake and it doesn't return back to where it should do, so it causes the brake to stick on. So let's get the caliper off, get the new caliper on, then we'll get on to the BMW mods, which you guys have probably been waiting for. So this is what I mean. So this is the handbrake. I'll pull it from inside the car and you'll see that's where it should return to. So the handbrake here, look, it should return. But they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs to flow with a designer panties. Yeah, we eat a penny, check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet to sign a major for the bank roll. But thank the Lord that it dies at penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is in mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gems to get my pockets lined till I get arthritis. My heart is icy, walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Queen of Kelly Cloudy at a poison ivy. But from like a stronger with a coast sign, me. I don't even like me. No, I'm staring the mirror in different poses. The realest to shy, but timid. The riddles were king as they simple minded. Find a road on top, I'm taking it. From the ground, I'll be paving it. Hella boats for when I'm ventilating. Too much on my face, then they take it. Yeah. New sounds, I make a facelift. I'm in a new town, I make the waves split. New town, we a crew in balance. Where I run the game until my shoe is cut. So, we have a problem already. And it's a Sunday as well, which means probably nowhere's open. Um, so, the actual <laughs> little sort of brake line, this here. Um, which one's actually into the caliper. I've turned it and the whole thing just snaps so easy. So Doesn't look like we're going to be putting this rear caliper on the TT today, does it? Here, um, for the right hand side rear caliper, the brake line, it's like a tiny little um, solid brake line. Alright, alright, no worries. Cheers. Right. The only place is open on Sunday. Don't have the part. <laughs> it just gets better, doesn't it? But guys, welcome back to a new video. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Click that subscribe button. We're having a bit of bad luck here. Now it looks like it's started raining as well. So it looks like the TT is stranded here for now. Can't really do anything with it because we don't have that brake line. So we are one car down. It looks like the TT is staying there, which is kind of annoying because I have uh, two new tyres to go on it as well, which we were going to get done today. Um, get those two new front tyres on and get it ready and then hopefully we'll take it to a, um, we'll take it to a track day I don't know, really know, I've never done a track day, never done anything like that but I don't really know like the rules and regs or anything of it I think you can just sort of go and do it as long as the car sort of runs fine obviously at the minute it doesn't have a rear brake so it's okay but if you guys want to see that maybe uh, hit the thumbs up button or let me know in the comments if there's any sort of rules and regs that I need to actually do so the BMW, the one mod, the first mod that you, we will be doing is from, if you look from the side here, the one thing that sort of stands out, being it all blacked out, is these terrible side indicators. So these are just, they look old, look terrible. We're going to remove them today and we've actually got some black LED ones which we're going to put in. So let's go get them and we'll put them in now. Let's go do it. Here they are in here. A lot of you guys, after all these modifications, always ask me for the parts and where I get them from. So instead of me asking you for all the parts, I send you links everywhere. I've actually created my own website, which is mattarmstrong.co.uk. You can click the link in the description and it'll pretty much have all the stuff that we do on the videos there, you know, all in one place. And then at least you know you're getting the same part that I've used on the BMW or the TT or any of the other cars I've used. So you'll be able to get a few other bits further on, but I just think that it's a good idea. I mean, not forgetting the channel sponsor, Easy Skins, which obviously allows you to wrap your phone, just like my phone, in car or any other designs as well go and check them out the links in the description right let's just get on with doing this it is just basically like a smoked indicator and um, you'll plug where you where you normally plug the bulb in it just goes directly in there so it's a simple and easy sort of attachment this shouldn't be too hard let's see how it goes see if we get any error codes as well we'll find out but yeah it should just be LEDs but it's gonna look a lot better than that white thing that's on there at the minute. So, I think these are pretty easy to get off. I mean, might just need a little bit of 
plastic to just help it off with. Um, from what it looks like. Oh yes, so it's quite easy. Slide it forward. And it comes out. Oh, that was so easy actually. Slide it forward, it comes out. There we go, we're out. So we twist, take that out, take this bulb out, then I presume we're gonna plug the new one in there. Plug the new one into there. Slots in nice. Now I'm gonna test it before I put it all back in. So let's give it a test. It's working and there's no error lights on the dash. Right, let's just push this back in. Yes. Just something that easy that you can change. Just get it done, just do it. If you've got a BMW 1 Series, which is the only thing I've listed it for in there, but even if you've got another BMW, anything you're watching, or if you've got a side repeater which just looks as crap as that, then just change it to one of them. Go on the website below and just go and buy one. It's super cheap and look how easy it is to fit. Right, let's go and do the other side and then we'll get on to the next modification. Okay, we're moving quick. So, next mod, I know a few of you have been waiting for this. Now look at this, on the BMW 1 Series, we've got the nice little area, which you notice that pretty much on most cars now, they don't have this, they just have a nice little shark fin, which I think um, is gonna look so much better. Again, this will be available on my website. Um, we're gonna change this into a shark fin area and it's still gonna work, hopefully. Right, let's go get it the shark fin aerial. This one's in carbon. I think there will be some gloss black ones available as well. Not too sure at the minute. But yeah, this one's in carbon. So this will just go directly on the top of the aerial. We do have to remove this little pull out bit at the minute. You just sort of snap that off, which we'll do in a minute. And this will connect in to your existing aerial. So you will still have signal, because it's got a little signal finder in there. And it literally just sticks on with the 3M tape. So. Let's, uh, first thing first, we've got to break this off. Um, got to break it off, just like that. And let's go do a test fit. Okay, so we remove this. And then this, I presume. So we've run into a small problem, the actual aerial. Let me show you, the actual aerial doesn't quite fit over that because that is absolutely huge so not a problem though i think what we'll have to do is we should just actually cut out a little bit there just so we can uh, get it fully over um let's go do that like i've butchered it pretty bad i mean you guys will probably get a better cut out than that but that's pretty much the size it needs to be it needs to be cut out quite a bit more um and then obviously the tape um, needs to be cut as well. The tape will go on like that. I mean, obviously no one's going to see this. I mean, I've absolutely butchered it because I didn't really have anything good to cut it with. I've just cut it with some like wire cutters, but it's going to work. Trust me. Okay. So before I put the tape on, what I'm going to do, I'm going to test that the radio actually works. Radio works. and it actually fitted all right. Now we have a carbon shark fin. I think I like it, I'm not, I, you know what, I'm sort of on the edge of this, but I mean, if you do want to grab yourself one of these, obviously it's got to have that little bit of modification to fit it, but the link is in the description for it. There we go. I mean, actually it's not, does it look weird? I don't know. Um, now I'm just actually looking I don't know if I can find it under here, just for the colour code, because I'm about to order the 1M bumper. I know a lot of you are like, some well, some of you are saying, oh, please don't get the 1M bumper because it looks ugly or whatever, but the, I'm still, I don't know, there's an M Sport bumper on eBay right now, which I've been looking at. It's got a little bit of damage, but we can repair it. I don't know whether to put the, just the M Sport bumper on and then um, get like an aftermarket splitter and we'll do side skirts and things like that. Um, I'm a bit unsure, I'm just going to weigh it up, but I'm just going to check the colour code 
which I would have thought would have been under the bonnet somewhere. So guys, I will try and find this colour code for you and then we will we'll probably see you in the next video. But make sure you do click the link in the description, check out my website. All of the modifications that we've done on the BMW, including the spoiler and the headlights are on there. And a few of the TT stuff's on there as well. So make sure you check that out. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.